Gemini, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> don't forget, I keep it real, raw, and uncut, and I keep it a bug. If you don't like how it's being told, you can always exit the stage left. No one is forcing you to be here, baby. My name isn't Ike. Yours isn't Tina. <laughs> this isn't a bake shop or a bakery. Nobody's forced to eat the cake and a maid. Remember, this is where we keep it real, raw, and uncut, and where we heal for real. Thank you for all of your love and support. I truly appreciate it, and it goes unnoticed. Don't forget to check the community board. Yeah, y'all got a y'all see all this shit going on? You got donkey, gravel, um, which is judgment day, final decision. You have fairy in reverse, um, bubblegum, fun party, and locked door in reverse. So there's something wide open. Damn, it's like y'all all over the place. Whoever you are are dealing with, this is it. Like, like this is it for them. I don't know what's coming up to this, what's coming up for this person with this judgment and don't get a day, but whatever it is, they're not they're not innocent of it. They're guilty as charged. With this fairy coming in reverse, they're guilty as charged. Um, the, the door, the locked door, that shit is open. Their ass is in there. The prison cells are open. Um, yeah, this is it. Somebody is now experiencing some sort of tower moment. They're going through something, um, very traumatic and they can act as if they are, uh, nonchalant somebody 211 somebody's trying to act like they don't give a fuck it's nothing i got this shit in the bag when i go to court you gonna be looking like the damn fool you gonna be looking stupid but the, what they're failing to realize gemini is when this court case happened motherfuckers is getting the clink clinks like they're not walking out so i don't know why this person is playing right now but they better tighten up with their lawyer because it's, it's some shit going on. You feel me? <laughs> and this person is Delulu. Like, they're real life Delulu. Like, what, are, what the hell? Hold on. Y'all know I don't like this deck. Being twisted. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm like, I mean, y'all know I don't like this deck going backwards and forth. But, yeah, somebody is delusional right now. They're they're literally off their fucking rocker thinking that once they go to this court case whatever they've done that it's gonna be a piece of case so they went around this bitch popping a bubble gum popping their collars they enjoying themselves um they vibing and whatnot they are not looking at this as judgment day into you in reverse so good chemistry, great, great vibes, positive. Um, so this is, again, somebody who's very negative, queen rising. So once this happened, it, it, feel, it seems to me that you step into some sort of power again. So people, this person doesn't know what you have Oh, on me. Whatever you are bringing to court, I don't know if you are the plaintiff. And they don't know that you have something that is extremely incriminating against them. And once you reveal this information to the judge, it's like this is this this is hooked. They're they're done. Like, so it's like, yeah, you ain't said much of shit or nothing to this person. That's why they run around here thinking everything is good. Everything is peachy, but when they get to this court date, baby, I'm telling you, so you didn't caught this person red-handed stealing from you. You didn't caught this thief in action. So this can be, it says rob, loss, theft, physical or emotional. So whatever you have, you have proof on whatever the, whatever they've done to you um they're gonna be kissing your ass 
I, I kid you not. Someone is facing some sort of legal troubles. They are going through um, judgment day. And I'm seeing the judgment card number 20. So something that has been cycling or that has been transpiring since 2020 um, is now about to complete. This cycle is now officially about to complete itself. But this person sitting around here acting very nonchalant, like what's going to happen to them? I'm telling you, it's time for them to be self-aware. This person is not taking heed to what the fuck is going on around them. And you stepping into your power and, and not saying shit, you just moving in silence is what has this person think they got this shit in the bag. Give me more on this. Clarify this energy. I'm telling you, you step into newness. You get new opportunities. This is like once this person get the clink clink, once them, them slam of them doors lock on this motherfucker, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. So you all could be dealing with a Sagittarius Gemini, but it's like once this person, once once this happens, balance begins. It's like you get a lot of good news, a lot of good communication, a lot of things start to take off of you, a lot of doors start to happen. Something is about to transpire and motherfuckers is trying to figure out what the fuck you know, what the fuck you got tucked away. It's like you're not letting the left left hand know what the right hand doing. So you could present it's like you could present this face to everybody. And, you know, I, I, I'm going to just say this. Y'all could be possibly having a two face out. So in one Around certain people, you are very, you know, like, well, not around certain, uh, outside, you are very, you know, like, I don't want to speak on it. You know, I don't have anything to say, but behind closed doors, your ass is cooking and working. You feel me? Like, that's what I mean. You are playing dumb out in public, but behind closed door, you are a fucking mastermind. And whatever this person, whatever this person has done to you. Whatever they did to come up off of you, you have it. So either this is physical court or spiritual court. You feel me? Judgment day is here. And everything that this person, their karma, the bed that they they made, they got a lie in it now. It's approaching. I, I, if I'm lying, I'm flying. I just told y'all. I don't. And I, you see me not moving. I am not flying. So you know what time it is. You know exactly what the fuck time it is. You know exactly why this person is going through this. Because their greedy ass ways and them, their greedy ass ways superseded love. Superseded what God envisioned. So them putting their own wants and needs before everything else. And the intention behind it. So they had no good intentions behind everything they did did to you. Everything was from a place of either hurt, revenge, um, competition. Like it's not it's like their intentions was purely bad. And if they stole from you, you finna get that back in 10. Time 10. You feel me? It's like grade eight goofies out here. You feel me? These people over here are tweaking. Yeah. You have a whole new cycle. Things are clearing out for you. New communication is coming in. Things are finally balancing out. And what, what needed to happen was because this person felt so fucking high and mighty. This is why... The temperance is here. This is why your ancestors and, and God had to step in to show this person you are nothing to be played with. You feel me? So it's just like they really thought that they had it. So if they if they felt on this physical realm that they have the upper hand, they getting their ass kicked in the 5D. I promise you they are. I promise you they are. They are experiencing constant flashbacks of what they did to you. It's like, um, I don't know if you all seen, oh, what is that show called? Lucifer. 
you seen that show Lucifer, and then like one of the um episodes, I, I I don't know, the guy had to keep reliving him going back to his his parents' house, him going back to his uh, parents' house and hashing out that whole incident. He had kept reliving that one scene over and over and over and over, and Lucifer said, "It's honestly up to you to get out of this, out of this scene." So someone is experiencing some sort of hallucination, but somebody is experiencing like constant flashback. They're, they're being constantly reminded of what they did to you. And it's like they can't break this matrix that they're in. They're struggling. Somebody is, if I'm lying, I'm flying and I'm not flying. You feel me? The moon. Someone is stuck in some sort of illusion. They're, they're just going back and it's just on some sort of repeat like like a broken record literally it's like hitting a hitting the fucking repeat button on the old cassette player and fucking playing it all night in your in your sleep it's something like that somebody is really on they they can't get past this whatever they did to you whatever happened that day is going to determine honestly their fate if I'm lying, I'm flying. I'm trying to tell you, God is no longer playing with this asshole. And that just is what it is. And I'm not finna keep, I'm not, I'm not finna keep sugarcoating shit. I'm telling you what it is. God is not finna keep playing with this asshole. What's the cause of this? Hmm. Page of Wands. Because no matter what the fuck, what the fuck was thrown at you, no matter how many towers you had to experience, no matter how many times your back was against the fucking wall, you remain optimistic and you continue to push through. And that's honestly what the fuck they're mad about because whoever this is, mad because they can't keep you in the fucking Eight of Swords. They can't keep you in trap. They can't keep you bound to the thoughts of them. Now they are experiencing what you were once experiencing when you were going through your trauma. When you were trying to heal, when you were questioning yourself, why was this fucking happening? Why is this person doing me like this? Why, why, why? Now they're there. They're at this same fucking point you were. Because you released all that shit. You're not carrying shit no more. Baggage is over with. 1010 can be significant. You all could be seeing 1010 when you're dealing with somebody October 10th. Again, or like. Oh, Life path one. <laughs> um, I'm telling you, AA could be significant. Somebody could be born on the 16th. Oh, March 16th. Who is that? What's that? An Aries? Pi a Pisces. Someone could be a Pisces. What's the outcome for this? You have been granted a new opportunity. You have been granted. Grant, granted a new life from this person who has robbed you physically, emotionally, and mentally. However they have done it, they robbed you of your time, shit, your investments, whatever the fuck you invested in this motherfucker, you getting that shit back times 10, I'm trying to tell you, and they're not playing with this person no more. <laughs> I'm telling you. The spirit is dropping some shit off in your pockets. You're about to get that shit back. So if somebody will be paying restitution, if somebody, um, if you have to go through some sort of court fees or, or something like that, let ask your lawyer to make sure they pay for it because you're going to get that shit back too as well. Anything that has cost you money to deal with this motherfucker, you're about to get that back times 10. And they finna be sitting in jail paying you back. I don't know if they still stamp, make them make um license plates but this person is about to get to get to work i'm here 25 cent a day <laughs> it's like we're talking about somebody is literally <laughs> really i'm trying to tell you what what they tried to make you experience here here they go again what people fail to realize is what you put out into the universe is ultimately what you're gonna get the fuck back please do remember 
that part about universal law. If you don't remember shit else, if you can't take shit else from me, remember what you put out into this world will be what you get back. So again, if you're putting out nothing but high, pos high vibe, you know, high vibrating energy, positive in positivity into the universe, you're pouring back into the universe. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to pour back into you. They're going to pour back abundantly to you. But if you're giving the universe shit and you're shitting on them, every chance you get, the people that's around you, you shit on. The people that 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 are in need, you shit on. Like you don't take the time out to do shit, but to look out for yourself. Guess what's gonna happen? <laughs> Say less. <laughs> You're gonna be on your ass. Fifteen, fifteen. 1555, my bad. Again, judgment. You're going to be on your ass. These people who once were their shitters, who were shitting on people, guess what? Your day for the toilet is here. We're going to see who gets flushed. <laughs> and that's just what it is. Motherfuckers is, is, is done. It's a wrap. Judgment is here. This is it. Spirit is no longer dealing with this shit no more. And they don't want you to. Remember, you have been granted this new opportunity. This is confirmation that everything that you have been going through is now about to come full circle. Yo, sorry, Gemini. The video got cut, but let's see. What signs and birthdays you need to pay attention? So someone could be, you could be dealing with a Taurus who's born April. No, that's Aries. You could be dealing with a Taurus born May 3rd or someone born... Um, March, March 5th, one more, you could be dealing with the Aries born on the 10th who, or you could be dealing with someone born October 4th, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius born on the 12th, or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius born on the 2nd. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.